Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. One of the issues in CAD, and it's not one that comes up terribly often, but it uh, concerns draw order, or also known as display order. And that's the order in which things are drawn. So typically a uh, thing that's drawn later will uh, cover over a thing that's drawn earlier. In many cases it doesn't matter because we're just dealing with lines, but uh, when it involves hatching and text and things like that, it can be a problem. So for example, in this uh, very simple drawing, I uh, drew the word uh, foundation and then I applied hatching. And the only reason you can see the word foundation is because I've got it selected, but when I uh, move my cursor away, you can see it has disappeared. So, what's the solution to bringing it back? Well, there's three commands in BricsCAD that solve this problem, and that's what this video is about. BricsCAD provides two commands that deal with the problem of hatch patterns covering text and or text needing to be on top of other entities. So you can see here I have uh, some text, a uh, dimension, and a hatch pattern. The command for bringing hatch patterns visually behind text and other all other objects is called hatch, hatch to back. So I'm going to enter it here. It moves all the hatch patterns in the entire drawing behind all other entities visually. And that's pretty cool. Let me undo that to show you the other command. The other command is uh, text to front. And I'll type it in here. Then ask you in the prompt if you only want to move text or dimensions or both. And I'm going to do both because I have both of them here. As you can see, once again, it selects all the text, all the dimensions, and brings them visually to the front of all other entities. Now, the reason it does this automatically and doesn't ask you to select objects is because if they're hidden, you can't see them naturally, and so it does it for you. Those two commands are fine for dealing with just uh, text and uh, hatches and dimensions, and they work very, very well. But what if you want to fine tune the draw order? You want to have one thing in front of the other, the other behind something else, and that's where the draw order command comes in. So here I've moved foundation on top of the dimension, which is on top of the uh, hatch pattern, and let's use the draw order command. So I'm going to type draw order command prompt. It asks me to select which entities to change the draw order of. I'm going to move the word foundation behind the hatch pattern. Okay, so I've done that. Press enter to finish object selection. And now I'm going to type in B to uh, move it to the back. And when I move my cursor away, you can see the word foundation has in fact moved visually behind all other entities. Now the change draw order command is a little bit complex and so I want to introduce you to the draw order toolbar and it has these uh, uh, preset versions so we can uh, quickly move things around. I'm going to move the uh, text and uh, bring it above the hatch pattern. First I choose this button on the toolbar in order to bring an, a selected entity ahead of another entity in the draw order. So I click that it asks me what I want to move. It's the text. Click that. Press enter because I'm finished selecting entities. And it says the reference entity. And that's the one that your selected object is going to be moving on top of visually. So I'm going to select the hatch pattern. Don't even have to press enter because you can only deal with one reference entity at a time. And there is a foundation on top of the hatch pattern. To quickly summarize the other items on this toolbar, this is the uh, general draw order command. This is, brings the selected entity to the top of the uh, view order, brings it one step ahead, one step back, all the way back. And this one sends all hatch patterns to the back, and this one brings text and dimensions to the front. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.